Latest developments now from Washington. A new NBC Wall Street Journal poll shows President Trump's approval ratings in negative territory, a historic low for a new president. Jennifer Johnson reports. With the state budget being the elephant in the room, lawmakers are considering many options, including potential cuts. Chief political reporter Mark Curtis tells us what legislators are eyeing this session. It's that time of year again, and the florist industry is quite busy around Valentine's Day. Megan Hudock has more on what they do to prepare for their big day. The state's attorney general is proposing that his office controls the Medicaid fraud unit. And this time next week, we'll be flirting with 60 degrees once again. And it looks like Valentine's Day is good, so not an excuse to not get out right? there for your dates. You can't say, hey, babe, well, the weather was too bad. I couldn't, uh, you know, go get those flowers. New at 11 tonight, there are many reasons students are kept from attaining higher education. Paige Hopkins has the story on a solution to one of those barriers. Good evening. Welcome to 12 News at 11. I'm Melissa Murray. Latest developments out of Randolph County where a fire broke out this morning at a business. Now to this developing story out of Harrison County. With West Virginia in a growing battle against drug addiction, Clarksburg looks to add a sober living house to its community. But its future location is causing debate. Seven fire departments were called to a rural area in Harrison County today to battle a house fire. It's nice to be able to open the windows, driving with oh, the windows down. absolutely. Turn the heat off, save some money. Exactly. Get some fresh air. That's always a good thing. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's all the time we have for Weekend Edition. Another controversial weekend ahead for the White House as it promises to get its travel ban reinstated, either by court action or another executive order. Also tonight, Democrats are questioning the actions of National Security Advisor Mike Flynn. Another confirmation for the Trump administration, Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price. After the break, we'll take a look at what's next for the GOP's Obamacare rollback. But first, Natalie's in the newsroom with a preview of tonight's Sports Zone. And by the way, uh, we were kind of curious about those chocolate-covered flowers, right? Yeah. We couldn't decide if they were roses covered in chocolate or fake chocolate roses. Like they, they dip them in yeah. or they spray it. I don't know. They look cool either way, right? Can you eat it? Uh, probably. <laughs> Well, what a difference 24 hours makes in the weather department. Meteorologist Sean Householder joins us from the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab to tell us what we can expect for tomorrow. Sean. Also new at 11, Taylor County 911 dispatchers say a Grafton Volunteer Fire Department truck fell into a ditch earlier today. Dispatchers say it happened on Pearl Street around 3.30 p.m. No injuries were reported. The extent of the damage to the truck is not clear at this time. 12 News reached out to the Grafton Volunteer Fire Department and Taylor County Sheriff's Department for more information about how that truck fell into the ditch or if firefighters were responding to an emergency, but calls have not yet been returned. A vehicle accident in Marion County sent one person to the hospital yesterday. It happened just before 3.30 in the afternoon on Manly Chapel Road near the Monongah Heights Apartments in Fairmont. State police say two cars collided head-on when one car crossed the center line. One person was flown to Ruby Memorial Hospital for injuries. There's no word right now on the extent of those injuries. The Marion County Rescue Squad and Monongah Fire Department also responded to the scene. Drivers traveling through Taylor County could see some delays starting tomorrow. The Division of Highways says crews will be working on the bridge at Taylor County Route 37, also known as Tappan Road. The bridge spans Plummer Run, just south of Route 250. Work will start tomorrow and run through February 24th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Drivers are asked to plan for additional travel time and use caution when traveling through this area. Well, many of us experienced strong winds and rain tonight. Meteorologist Sean Householder has been hard at work in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab. He joins us with more on how long those conditions will last. Sean.